Frank. I uh, appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, again, like, uh, like my brother Par over there, I certainly wasn't expecting to be asked to come up the front and say a few words today, but, uh, but I am actually very happy to. Uh, I know I'm actually known a lot as a speaker, but first and foremost, I'm a business guy. Uh, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. That's been my passion since the age of 17 when I, I dropped out of school. And what we're finding as we move forward today in the 21st century, as many people are finding, is that you know, the formal education system will, may teach you how to make a living but informal education will help you make a fortune. And the challenge with school is I'm not a clever guy. I went to school, I dropped out at 16, I've got my formal qualifications. School for me taught me two things. It taught me how to pass tests and work for somebody else. And neither of those two things were high on my agenda for success in life. So I got into business at 16, yeah, and I've seen a lot, done a lot, made a lot, lost a lot, you know, sort of had a lot of fun. Uh, but on that journey, really started to you know, pick up some clues as to what is this thing called business? What is this thing called life? What is this thing called opportunity all about? And one thing I have to say is that you know, I'm, you know, I don't look for opportunities as such. I know that you know, I'm in a state of, if an opportunity is ready, it'll find me. It's kind of one of those um, uh, situations where you know, you'll always miss the plane that crashes. Uh, and are you in the, the right pl place at the right time? And for me, there's some key fundamentals. You don't need to be a cryptocurrency expert. For me, I'd be struggling to spell it. Uh, but there's certain things I look for. Numbers get my attention, because facts don't lie. Yeah, salespeople lie, yeah, facts don't lie. At the start of this year, you're talking 11 billion in market cap. That's not a small amount of change. Start of this year. Today, 175. That got my attention. Something is happening. Right now, there are 20 million people involved globally in cryptocurrency. Out of how many? 20 million. Yeah, out of how many on, 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 as a population? 7.2 billion. 7 to 8 billion right now and growing. 20 million, guys. Think about it. There are several billion people on this planet that do not have a bank account. Yes. That got my attention. And by the way, probably never will. So I've been starting to look at some of the people that have been involved in this industry for a while now, the people that did get involved at the, the one cent Bitcoin, the people that are smart enough, far smarter than me, to be able to see this yeah, and predict future trends and the converging trends that are happening right now and start to piece it together. You know, in 2008, I was involved in, a, in finding, um, uh, creating a, a big opportunity in energy because I saw converting trends. I saw the price of oil going up. I saw the, the technology and efficiency prices coming down. I saw the green revolution happening. This was before an inconvenient truth, which kind of tipped it over the, the public air. And yeah, that technology that I was putting together at that time is now being looked at and invested in by the world's richest people, including Jeff Bezos, the world's richest guy. That timing, timing is everything. You don't have to be smart. If you got involved in property in the 70s, guess what? You made money. Yeah. You may not know a brick from a breeze block. You didn't care where you bought, what it looked like, how many bedrooms. You made money if you bought property in the 70s. Case closed. Yeah. If you got involved in IT in the 80s, you made money. If you got involved in the dot-com era in the late 90s, you made money. Didn't matter what it was. Uh, and the challenge with the dot-com, as we all know, it, it was a bubble. But there were companies like Amazon that did pretty well. Why? They had good fundamentals. They had a good plan, a good vision. They planned for the future. There was other companies like Webvan that fell down the drain, never heard of again. Why? Didn't do their homework, got caught up in the euphoria. There's a lot of euphoria in crypto right now. Be careful. What I love about what these guys is they focus on the fundamentals. We know that this is going to happen with us or without us. Case closed. As Park said, this train's moving. The challenge is, what do we want to do in relation to the industry and the opportunity? <clears throat> Some people will sit here, get excited, and then remember them when they walk out the door that they're actually risk averse. <gasps> yeah, but I've got to put my money in? No, I was hoping, you, yeah. I, I was hoping somebody would come along and do it for me. Hmm. No. What about yeah, understanding a fundamental truth that there are no guarantees in life? Everybody agree with that? Yes. You want a guarantee? Buy a toaster. <laughs> that's about your limit but here's what I know my friends history always has and always will favour the risk taker the paradox of history is those that risk the least usually end up with the least but our brain doesn't tell us that when there's a mortgage to pay on Friday so therefore we withdraw 
And sometimes that's the right decision. But when faced with an overwhelming surge in opportunity, where you have certain converging trends and market factors where we can come back and say, wow, imagine 12 months from now. Just think about this for a second. Play a little game of imagination with me before we close out the evening here. I want to be respectful for your time. A little game of imagination. I want you to fast forward and future pace yourself one year from today, October 2018. And you'd waited and you'd looked and guess what? The entire market's gone like that, as we know it will. And yeah, and it'll go up and it'll go down, but what direction of travel? 